Oh, shit! <laughs> Look at that, that's a big box. Today, we're looking at a chair, which is unusual for me. Not a big chair guy, to be honest, but Colton's not here, so I'm filling in. This, in this giant box here, is the Cooler Master Sync X. It's a gaming chair with haptic feedback, which basically means it's gonna vibrate your ass. I can't wait. This is a Jerry Rig everything knife. You can get one at LTTstore.com. Did you know that? Ow. Don't play with knives, kids. Oh wow, that actually like, holy crap. That's life changing. God, so much styrofoam. I will admit, you could probably package this with like a cardboard kind of piece here instead of a bunch of styrofoam. Not exactly good for the planet, but it's, it's fully assembled, which is nice. See, look, a cardboard piece. They, they even know. Why don't you do this? <laughs> oh, okay, a power brick. I guess that makes sense. The chair is gonna have to be powered to vibrate your ass. Pretty standard power brick. Pretty reasonable power consumption for a chair. Oh my God, this is gonna suck. <laughs> It's like the worst combo ever. It's bubble wrap and then they wrapped it in like, what do you call this, cling wrap? Don't cut the chair? Why? What's the worst that could happen? I wonder if anyone's ever gonna make a cooled chair like we made. That would be pretty, oh, oh, damn brother. That's got a stink to it. Oh my God. Come, come, smell. This is like, you just opened a can of paint smell. It is. Dank. I give her, give her a whiff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That is exactly what it is. It's paint. It's yeah. awful. To be fair, this is like a pre-production one. It's very possible the packaging and the stank factor will change. I can only evaluate it as is, and as is. Whoo! Ah. <sighs> Just to keep the Jake Bell's out. <laughs> what is that? Whoa! Whoa! Is that a footrest? Leg rest? So you can go like, Ugh. oh man, this chair can't do this. It's so stinky, man. It is like toxic. It's not very confidence inspiring on the lean back. <laughs> so it's got a flip out action and a slide. This goes away pretty nicely. We got up and down on the arms, forward and back. They also angle, which is nice. They feel nice. They got a little cute little groove here. Pretty hard, kind of plasticky feel, but they do angle nicely on the arms. The sink is made up of a wood and metal frame covered in high density molded memory foam. I'm gonna be honest, it feels more just like normal foam. I don't feel like there's a lot of memory action happening here. And then on top of that is like a breathable fabric. It very much feels like a standard sort of office chair. It doesn't look super gamery, which depending on who you are might be a good thing. These casters are awful. They are like plastic as f Am I doing it wrong? Are they locked? Like, this is bad. <laughs> I'm moving like two feet, man. Even when the chair, like, even if when I'm not sitting in it. Oh! Maybe they just suck. They must just be grinding. Going forward for some reason feels better. It's still bad. It's, they're bad casters. Luckily on most chairs you can swap those. Um, so if every other part of this is good, then it might be okay. Can I lock the back? Oh, cool. All right, you can lock the back. That's nice. There's a little bit of, play in the back. I don't know if it's intended, but it actually kind of, it's kind of nice. 135 degree posture bracing backrest. It must be 135 degrees from here. Are you meant to be able to lean back on this? I, I oh man. Okay, no. Am I lifted off the ground yet? No. It's not exactly confidence inspiring. What about Can you do the honors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> getting personal there, Wolf. <laughs> Is that all the way out? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna tip over. Ah, um, I feel like I'm balanced, but if I leaned further back, this would be a problem. It's probably fine. To be fair, the reason that I'm like a little bit iffy about it is because I haven't tried. Uh, and you know, it, I think it'd be okay. I think this chair can do this. It's a little scary though. But that's not really the main attraction here. What else we got? It's a pretty like hefty looking frame. Okay, on, on closer inspection of these casters, these are absolute dog. 
and it does look like you can replace them. They're just the standard style. The base is metal, which is good to see. The frame down here, if you look at that, it's really gnarly. Like this is a well-built base of a chair. She thick. You can, of course, adjust the resistance on the back down here to dial that in. I wanna see if it's charged because the main selling feature of this chair isn't being super comfortable. It's that it has haptic feedback. It's gonna vibrate your butt. But we're not gonna find that out until I tell you about our sponsor, Dbrand. Thanks to Dbrand for sponsoring this video. They're bad people who make pretty good products, like their grip case. It has a super grippy texture, it's impact resistant, and it can be customized with any of Dbrand's skins, like their palettes or Damascus collection. So check them out at shortlinus.com. He is short. Hey, it turned on. Oh, you have to plug it in to get the battery status. Okay, that's kind of weird. It looks like we got a 3.5 millimeter audio input, I imagine. We have a pairing mode. Oh, this thing has Bluetooth. Having it wireless is probably kind of important. <laughs> we got a headphone out, presumably, so you can listen to the headphones. We got volume, master, ARGB. Hey, look at that. I didn't even notice. Wow. What other RGB modes we got? Pulsing rainbow, nothing, red, purple, green, blue, rainbow circle. We'll leave it on that. Hmm, what is this? There's like a panel here. It's like blocked off. Future expansion, might be a service port or something like that. The select has a few different modes. There's aux, which I assume is this input here. There's BT, which has gotta be Bluetooth. And then 5.8G. Maybe in the long run, this will also come with a USB dongle. That would be my guess. Let's check how the charging works here. Okay, let's see how this works. Plug in, it just blinks red. Does that mean it's not working? I wanna know what my battery status is. Well, we're just gonna have to assume that that's doing things. Should we try to pair it to Bluetooth? What are the odds we have any idea what this Bluetooth device is called? I don't know if this is even an audio. It's not an audio device, so I don't know what I just connected to. It's blinking. There's so many Bluetooth devices in this office. Maybe it's this, PXC550? Because my back is shaking. PXC550 is my headphones. <laughs> Why are you connected to this? We're connected to your headphones. Dude, this thing stinks. I have a headache. <laughs> Genuinely have a headache. Holy shit, I got it, I got it. Ah, it's showing on my phone, but not on the computer. Maybe it's like, oh, it went away. Fuck. I give up. Aux cord it is. Why'd you give me the shortest aux cord you could find? Oh, dude, my ass is shaking. It's like a massage almost. Whoa. That has got some oomph to it. Oh. Whoo, it's making it off gas more. <laughs> Man, this chair is just like, this is the default position. I can't go more up. Come on, chair. I just, oh. <laughs> it's vibrating my skull. Whoa, do you hear my voice sounding weird? Epic gamer moment. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> I don't know what's giving me more of a headache, the vibration. <laughs> <laughs> what the f are these headphones, dude? I don't know if this is really gonna give me the best experience. I spent all the money on your chair. I spent all the money on my chair. All I had was these like Air Canada ass over ear headphones. I feel very immersed right now. Dun 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 dun. dun. It's like shaking my whole soul. <laughs> Wait, it stopped. Oh no, we ran out of battery. Oh, it tells you what it's doing in the headphones. It said Sync X activated. Bluetooth is ready to pair. Okay, so if you want to set this up, just plug crappy headphones. There we go, Bluetooth connected, yes. I would love to play a racing game with this. I feel like that's the one thing you would actually want your ass to vibrate for. Oh God, there's no dead zone on the steering. <laughs> I only have like zero or 100% steering. It does give you feedback, I will say. And like when you go off the track, you're like whole ass is shaking. Whoa. Oh, it shakes in different areas. When I was listening to music earlier, it was mostly just the back that was vibrating. But in this instance, when I went off the track, the butt part was vibrating and then up here, not so much. And then when I'm just sitting here idle and you're like kind of, you know, your engine's vibrating a little bit more because it's that idle, the back is what's vibrating. So there's kind of like, zoning to it almost. I like this, this is pretty cool. Now the question is, whoa, what's the price? We're trying to see if there's a way to get it to be more vertical because 
Brandon was saying at the start of this video, it was more vertical. Maybe we bent it or something? I just grabbed the back and reefed it forward and it seems like it bent back. Oh God, am I just bending the metal? Oh no! Ah, like a traditional chair, you've got kind of like a bracket on the side. This is literally just the middle and it's just metal right here. You could totally bend this thing. Let's watch, let's see. And now it's vertical again. I don't know what to say, dude. This is, this is pretty bad. In terms of the actual haptic function, I don't know if it's like the most accurate, cleanest base ever, but it does give you that physical feedback that's really good for racing games or if you're watching like an action movie or something. For that, pretty good. I'm a little concerned because A, the caster's not very good. The off-gassing fabric smell, while really strong, will probably go away, but something that can't be ignored is the build quality. It feels pretty good out of the box, but man, this back is just connected at the middle. And if you go back, it bends back. This is where I was sitting before, now the chair is back here. That is honestly kind of inexcusable. I think honestly they need to go back to the drawing board with this one. This chair should really be set up as like a standard gaming chair with brackets on either side to properly reinforce the back because as is, the fact that I'm just able to bend it by leaning back a bunch, I'm not even trying to push that hard. And look at that, kind of unacceptable. I also don't have pricing to give you kind of a recommendation on whether I think it's out to lunch or a decent deal, but just Based on the build quality alone, I'm gonna go with you should probably skip this one. Maybe for the V2, they can fix a few things, but as is, I would not spend my money on this. So thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, maybe check out the AM5 motherboard mystery crate unboxing that I did. That was pretty fun. And if you miss Colton in chair reviews, well, too bad, he's gone today. And I took this one. Sucks to suck, Colton. <laughs> okay, bye.